Falcon can sort of subject Bowser to the blender off of a stray hit. Granted, Bowser has a blender of his own with that down smash. Alright, let's reset the balloon count. But, um... Yeah, Bowser's weird. Double, that's the thing. You gotta be really careful, because you can't always survive with the eye on D. Uh, Catherine, I think, did right there, and that just set up for a second knee, which good presence of mind for the Norris getting that, but yeah, this, this can be a very rough matchup. Falcon can just sort of combo all over Bowser, if he so chooses. But yeah, I, was, I had this discussion earlier. I don't know if it was on the mic. Ooh, let's go a little bit too early there. Bowser in P+, is very different, I want to say, from Bowser in any other game. Because most melee characters, you know, they go from melee to brawl, and then in PM, or P+, you know, just make them like their melee counterpart, but better in a lot of ways. Bowser was just badly designed to the point of being non-functional in melee. So you, you really didn't want to make him like melee. So he's quite different from melee, and brawl, and smash Four and smash ultimate, because they turned him into a much more explicit grappler in four and ultimate. Okay, we got the upper, not quite gonna do it. This. Oh, he wanted that forward smash. A little bit disrespectful. Tell us to jump over the fireball, not quite. Okay, I think at this point, Cathroy. If she gets an up throw. At ledge, or near ledge, facing away, he's dead. Okay, nice fall through. He's correct. Okay, is this it? Okay, I I like the idea, but a, try, a fair would have done the trick there. Maybe it wouldn't have killed, because he did DI that in a rather interesting fashion. If you DI in on Bowser up throw until like some absurdly high percent, he can hit you. So the only reason you'd want to DI, unless you're at some absurdly high percent, if you want to DI, the only reason you DI in in that situation, in that hypothetical, would be if you're trying to mix them up really, really hard, because you just have to pray that they don't react when you DI in. If they do, you get fair. Or side beat. Okay, good patience. Cap That's one thing Kepler's really good about, is doing the side beat tech chasing. However, Janoris, Falcon has the jab fast enough to break out of that. Okay, good dash back by Kefirk there. I like it. Okay. He sort of just threatens when she full hops on that platform, not throwing out an aerial. Um, going for the side B, Janoris did roll, though, and she didn't react and side B in the wrong direction. Ah. That's funny. He didn't DI. You gotta DI that away, or he just gets a free up air until, again, uh, pretty high percent. His up throw and the forward throw onto the side B are similar in that regard. Okay. That was... I like the feedback that I got right there. Um, and I know commentators aren't supposed to be biased here, but I, I know who I want to win this. Okay, gets in with the Quake hitbox. Down the up, up air. And weak hit me is gonna kill, barely. Only with the ledge hog, but still. Cather just sitting there a little bit in neutral. Crouch cancels the get up attack, but doesn't get anything more off of it. Okay, again, a little bit slow. I think if she does that, if she goes through that a third time, probably wait for the tech. Okay, gets a little bit greedy with going for up smash at ledge and gets me for her trouble. Lower throw? Okay. A little bit of spaghetti. Ooh. I, Kathra, you gotta be careful. He doesn't want to drop this. Because she is now in the danger zone. Jab, one, two. Almost just killed Falcon. She went for a turnaround up tilt. That probably wouldn't... F tilt, down angle failure tilt, grab ledge, please. Okay, yeah. Didn't matter. He didn't... I don't think he really tried to recover there, but I don't know if it would have mattered. So, Kathra taking game one, but that was a close game. So, she gets two bans, spanning FD, good. Dreamland, I I don't know about that. Bowser lives for forever. Um, he'd be surviving Stompney, and 
mean, I guess Bowser does kill off the top, so I, I guess I can see why you can get rid of it. Stealing at a super high stage, but still. So this is a really decent stage for Falcon and for Bowser. Oh no. That's, yeah, that's death. Unfortunate SD at low percent. Um, this is a best of five. This is loser's semis. Let me update the stream tool there. To be correct. So, this is semis, so she does have more games to work with after this, but you don't want to start a set that way, or a game. Uh, up the... No, I would have paired there. Maybe that's not the right option, but... And at this percent, I think going for down throw on side B, I think just going for back throw might have been the better option there, too, because that just puts him off stage and gives you advantage. I like the idea. I like what she's trying to do here. There we go. Up throw. Interesting. He DI's in. Um, basically guaranteeing Kepler gets a follow up. Whereas if he DI'd out, he would have been able to attack the platform. Okay, despite the SD, Kepler has brought this back. Okay. No DI on that knee. Uh, she's still behind, but keeping the SD in mind, this is going pretty well for Kepler. Now, it would be pretty disheartening if you get to a really close situation after SDing and still drop it, but, you know, we're not there yet, so let's let's see how this goes. Gets the fireball. A little bit risky not taking ledge there, but it works out. We've got a dead-even game here. Janora's messing up, wanting to drop her platform and do an aerial of some kind there. Just barely able to jump over the fireball. It's big, but not that big. Kaepernick seems to be fishing for a lot of grabs here, um, which is good. Bowser's got a really good grab game, but Janoris, I think, is starting to pick up on that. I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to pay attention right now to see exactly how she's trying to get openings, and I think a lot of them have just been on raw grabs. Okay, Janoris traps her on ledge and clips her with the knee. Okay. Dex attack. Definitely don't overuse it, but it's a solid move to get in. It's got nice armor on it. That hit she- Oh no, not what you want to see. I am shocked that that hit shield. He was behind Bowser entirely, and that still hit. Unfortunate SD. I- I don't know what that was supposed to be. Is that- was she trying to shield in response to the North running in? Oh, okay, we got a Green Hill Zone, and we've got a character color switch. This is another stage that's it's good for Bowser because it's tiny, but also walls give Falcon a pretty big advantage in recovering. Ooh, Stomp Knee is going to do it. Now we've got another situation where she's down full stock, but this time it's just because Janoris hit the turtle. Okay, up throw. He's DIing in every time, I'm noticing. I don't, I don't know why that is. Okay, gets the up throw and she misses the attack, so he gets the follow up. Okay, he did not be IN that time. Gets the spike. Down smash in neutral, I don't know about that. Okay, and he's gonna do it. This is not looking so good for Gatherog right now. I'm curious, who put, uh, who put Janoris in Losers? Lickney did, okay. So, Janoris is on his way for a rematch at this raid. Okay, no force stock. He's playing. Is there a problem? If you restart, you can get a different song. 
If you do the LRAY start, that gives you it rerolls the song. Wow. You hate the song? Ah, it's fine. Okay, back back to the game. A little discussion about Puzzle Plank Galaxy on. Oh, goes for fourth match. Okay. Kakarag is... That, that's, that's another stock. She's made an entire stock up. However, she's on 111. Can't push the stock much further. Okay. Yeah, knee from the corner is going to do it. That's a two stock. It was looking like a potential four stock, but Kakarag able to bring it back part way. We've got the character switch to a Stripe Ed Charizard. One character on the stream tool is broken, and I don't know who it's supposed to be. It's not Charizard, though, so can I just pick him? Three, two, one, go. Really interesting. I think, is this the skin Kakarot made? Uh... I got rust red or with white wings, black stripes. That's the Digimon one, right? That was more orange. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got a really, really early kill. I wasn't looking. What happened? NSD. Okay, I saw him instantly play. It was an SD. Side B to propel her a little bit, but it's got so much anti she wasn't quite high enough to make it work. The sneeze, as she called it. So this is potentially where Falcon makes a comeback. Never mind. Okay. Nice. Gets the back air after missing a, uh, a follow up on a throw. Okay, she's getting stomped a lot. Stomp. Ooh, gets the reverse knee. If that had gone the other direction, I think she would have lived. Okay, another knee in control. This, this is, um... This is 100% doable, but I... Kefir's gotta be on top of her mental game here. Because she's just dropped uh, two games in a row. Not quite enough to kill, but does she make it back? Yes. Okay. Oh, wish the grab. Too close. He got Roy zoned on the grab. Okay, gets the jab. Again, slight whip, just barely misplaced. But close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, as they say. Okay, tries to light attack from ledge. Gets bared, unfortunate, because that took a lot of our resources away in trying to do that light attack from ledge. Grabs him out of side beat. Tries to cover it with four tilt. Okay, she's just sitting at like four tilting, which is um I respect it. It's a safer attempt. However, okay, four throw? Up throw. Okay, I don't know about that. Jeff Corder gonna do it though. This is very doable, but she's gotta be careful. Okay. Norris. Oh, oh. Please just take ledge. Take ledge. Oh, she she could have done she could have rolled the ledge there and that would have worked. Uh, and that would have been the game. I really don't want to see her drop it after that. If you yeah, you can roll and that'll put you if your ECB is close enough to ledge, you can just barely tap backward and you'll fall off. 
So you can't directly roll the ledge, but a lot of characters, you can dash attack at ledge and then hold in. So you'll turn around, be on ledge, and then switch to holding out, and you'll just fall and snap to it. Or you can just do the turnaround slide animation and hold out during that, and you'll again fall. So there. Oh, oh, okay, no punish. Does that have armor? Does that have armor on that? I don't know if that has armor, but that was funny. Does Thunder Punch have armor? Do you know? Okay, that just went straight through Janoris's attack then. Wow, I guess it was too fast. We've got a game five situation. That was a nail biter. Catherine, thank him. Okay, she looked like she was dying in the chair for a minute there. We're, we're back. Green light. Okay. Uh, yeah, Charizard doesn't. Well, I mean, he can kill off the top. He's got some some haha -ha funny stuff he can do with his down B. However, I don't think the stage is a bad pick. Um, I'm. It's hard to pick who to root for here. Hey, Shrug. We've got the newcomer, Denoris, on a tear to get top five here. And then we've got uh, we've got Cathrark, the, the classic player, the TO, looking at a top three placement here. Whoever, whoever wins this is guaranteed top three. Okay, she just rolls away. Does, doesn't get a lot off of it, but she does just disengage. Back throw dash attack. Okay, he goes a little bit too low, and now he's down two stocks. I... I'd like to see Catherick take ledge a little bit more than she's been doing. She doesn't need to go to ledge every single time. Charizard does have tools to, to track people on ledge, but there were, I think, a few times last game where she's just taken ledge. That would have been tough. Got a very close game five here. Well, a very close set. This is a little bit more in Catwork's favor. We, we got a new commentator on the mic, just so the Hello. viewers know why I'm recapping. Um, last game, Catwork almost. She had it, and then she flubbed, and then she almost dropped it, but didn't. So that went from uh, we are now in a game five situation. She had a pretty good lead, but Janoris is uh, clawing his way back. Okay. Pretty noise's uh, history as a player. Seated pretty high. Um, yep. And filling that seat. Two and weeks ago, I believe it was two weeks ago, uh, at a SLU Ultimate Tournament, I think they, they had a setup or two for people I think, and had enough people interested that they just did an impromptu tournament. And Norris got second there. But I think Catherine, he put her in losers and she made the, the run back. So these two have played. And um, Janoris is a Rala homie. He's from the Rala Smash scene. Or at least that's where I know him from. So, yeah, Panful, Shim, and I, and Janoris, where we all went to Rala. So, he's going, looks like last, last game, last time. This is a high tension situation. So Kefirik went Bowser earlier and won game one, but then lost two games with him, so she switched to Charizard. Okay, gets the up tilt forward air. Okay, good call out on the, the get up attack there. And this this can be really hard to get out of here. So Janoris does escape, gets the up air. Weak hit back air, forward tilt? No. He could have forward tilted that, he would have been dead. Um, respecting his space in a little... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, forward air not gonna do it. Dreamland is big. Forward... Grab... Grab... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. She just needs one grab. Oh! Heartbreaker. Just barely tapped with that back air. Captain Falcon. Well, I only saw the last game. That was very exciting. A lot of neutral interaction happened. Alright. 